Back again with another uh, fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be doing the uh, tarpon roach. So we've got a uh, Gamagatsu SL12S uh, size 1 0 in the vise here. Got a little bit of our uh, tan thread. So we're just going to go ahead and start it and just lay a, a little bit of a thread base here going back to the uh, bend of the hook. And uh, you don't want to start that thread too far forward. Maybe halfway down the shank is fine. Because you're going to leave a lot of this hook shank up here uh, bare. So first thing we're going to do is just go ahead, make a little thread ball right here at the back of the uh, back of the fly. This is just going to help kind of separate our feathers a little bit. And give us something to uh, tie up against. So it doesn't have to be the prettiest looking little thread ball, but... Just something to tie up against. So next thing we're going to do is grab our uh, hackle. This is a, uh, a whiting hackle here. I think it's whiting. It might be a Mets hackle. Either way, this is a uh, this is barred ginger. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get four pretty similar looking feathers. I can grab a couple here. We're going to start, we're going to take two feathers, kind of put them together, line the uh, line the tips up and everything. They look like so. Kind of move some of the feather out of the way that we don't need. We're going to put that on the hook. Probably do about one, probably about two lengths of the hook behind the, uh, behind the hook here. We'll go ahead and tie this first side off. You want these feathers splayed outward so the cur so it's curving out, almost like making little claws off the back of the fly. This fly can imitate a uh, a shrimp or a crab. Then we'll take our other two feathers and we'll do the same thing on the far side of the hook. And we kind of want it to be about the same length as the other side here, so kind of make sure we get the same length. Looks good. We'll go ahead and tie that in. And cut our excess out. Gonna make sure those ride a little straighter. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, grab a little bit of crystal flash here. You don't need too much. I mean, it's a tarpon fly, so Three, three or four strands is plenty. You don't want, you know, an overly flashy fly for tarpon. So we're just going to fold these over, tie them right on top of the hook, and then kind of splay them out with the feathers, or like the feathers. So get that. We'll tie them. We'll cut it just a little shorter than the feathers here. Keep that kind of going that way. I like to lift everything up and just kind of get a wrap or two right under the feathers just to kind of lift them a little bit. You'll notice that this pattern is pretty similar to our laid up tarpon fly. So we don't have the chenille on the bottom here or the head of the fly. Normally that chenille would help prop the feathers up. But in this case we're just propping it up with the uh, with a thread to keep it nice and light. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab a little bit of uh, Arctic Fox. Just add a little bit of a uh, a little bit more movement here to the back of the fly. You don't need much, just a little, little pinch will do. So we're gonna take our Arctic Fox and kind of pull out some of the longer hairs here. This will just be part of the, almost part of the collar. We'll just measure that to go about maybe halfway down those uh, feathers and then we'll just tie it right here on top of the shank. Clip out our excess there. Make sure we get that tied in all the way back. There we go. So then we're going to do some more fox right in front of it, but we're going to use this uh, EP Foxy brush. I believe this one is tan. It might be tan or this is this is coyote. You can use tan or coyote either. 
they're pretty similar in color. You're not really going to notice much of the difference between them. So this one's Coyote and the uh, 1.5 inch EP Foxy brush. Let's go ahead and move that forward get our thread out of the way. We'll get our hackle pliers on there. Kind of make sure these fibers aren't condensed on each other. I'm going to be about three, maybe four wraps of this Foxy brush. So we got one, two, three. I'm going to get one more on there for good measure. Four. I'm going to pick some of these uh, extra fibers out of here so they don't have too much material going on this fly. Tie it off. And then we'll get our bad pair of scissors just to cut that out of there. Now there's always a little piece of... Uh, a little piece of wire sticking out, so we'll just tie it right over that. And then we'll get our botkin and we'll kind of pick out some of these uh, fibers that may have been trapped. There we go. We'll tie up on it here just a little bit. So, already looking like a little tarpon fly there. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab some more feathers. This is a uh, E-wing uh, grizzly hackle in tan. So these are really nice, soft, webby hackles. We'll find a good feather here that we can use. And we just need one feather. Pick some of the, uh, the fluffier fibers off the back here off. And then with the curve facing down towards the fly, we'll tie that right in here. Get a couple wraps going forward, just to make sure this feather's secure. Cut that excess out. Tie over the rest of that excess. And then we'll move our thread forward out of the way. Again, we'll get our hackle pliers and we'll begin palmering this feather right in front of our uh, foxy brush. Just one wrap right in front of the other. This uh, this grizzly tan colored feather here really gives it a nice crustacean vibe, you know, real shrimpy kind of deal. You, you don't have to tie this in, in tan, obviously. I mean, this could be a good black and red, black and purple pattern. You know, if you want to do this in uh, chartreuse, something like that. I mean, you could tie this in a whole bunch of different things. I just think tan looks really nice and natural in this uh, this particular pattern. So, we unwind our thread here, kind of tie this feather off. And we'll cut out our excess on this feather. Then we're just gonna take all of our fibers on our feather, kind of fold them back, and we'll wrap over a couple of them here. Tying and kind of building ourselves a little head on this fly. We've got to get too fancy with the head here, I mean, just something that, you know, kind of looks a little aerodynamic almost. And we'll just go ahead and whip finish. Well, you can see that looks like a uh, pretty shrimpy little pattern there. Definitely something I think a tarpon would eat. And we've got a couple fibers. You got a couple fibers sticking out just to... A little hit from a lighter goes a long way in uh, cleaning up a head on a fly. And we'll get just a little bit of loon flow here. Just kind of hit these thread wraps with uh, the loon flow. I like applying it with a little brush. I think it makes it go on really nicely. There we 
we go. Let that kind of soak into our uh, fibers. We'll hit it with our Luna Infinity Light here. Give that a few seconds to cure on all sides. And that's it. That's our fly. That's a, uh, that's a our little Keys cockroach style fly here. You know, throw this in front of tarpon, make it look like a little shrimp, little crab. It's going to have good movement to it. Real light fly to tie. You know, so yeah. Tie one up uh, if you're headed down to the Keys and uh, try it out on some tarpon. Thanks for watching, guys.